everyone. Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called the Mark 1 Auto Injector, and it goes by the Mark 1 NAAK, which is just an abbreviation for Nerve Agent Antidote Kit. So many times out in the EMS field, you'll hear it referred to as the Mark 1 Kit. This auto injector is actually comprised of two medications, which are atropine sulfate and pralidoxy, both of which I've done videos on separately. So if you're interested, definitely go check those out. I'll link them up in the right hand corner. It falls under the class of cholinesterase reactive activator and antidote. So what happens in the body whenever your body's exposed to something like this? So this causes an excess of acetylcholine to be built up in the neuroaffector sites. This affects a ton of things because as we know, there are two types of acetylcholine receptors. There's the muscarinic, which affects your breathing and your GI function. And then there's the nicotinic receptors that affect your vascular function and your muscle movement. So whenever your body's exposed to something like this, all of that is affected. And the atropine comes in and it inhibits the action of acetylcholine at those parasympathetic neuroaffector sites. And then the pralidoxime comes in and it reactivates the cholinesterase, which allows for the destruction of accumulated acetylcholine. They work together. It really reminds me of kind of like an anaphylactic reaction. With anaphylaxis, we give epi to kind of take care of the symptoms before we give Benadryl, which solves the problem. So in this case, we give the atropine and it goes into those sites and it blocks the action of the acetylcholine. But then the pralidoxime comes in and it fixes the paralysis, the respiratory paralysis, the muscle paralysis by destroying all that excess buildup of acetylcholine at the neuroaffector sites. So this ultimately fixes the problem. Your indications for this auto injector are organophosphate poisonings, mushroom poisonings, and nerve agent exposure. And as always, before we get into dosages, I just want to remind you to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. So the atropine portion of this auto injector is two milligrams and it is an intramuscular auto injector. And the pralidoxime half is a 600 milligram IM auto injector. And this is not recommended for the pediatric population. There is a medication called the Duodo auto injector and it is almost exactly the same. It's just a different brand name. There are some slight differences, but on that one, the atropine dose is actually 2.1 milligrams. I, I don't understand the 0.1 milligram difference, but all right. And your contraindications are going to be known hypersensitivity. Adverse reactions include dizziness, drowsiness, headache, muscle rigidity, muscle weakness, how it's supplied. So it's two separate auto injectors. There's the two milligrams of atropine, and this is in a 0.7 mil milliliter solution. And then there's the auto injector with 600 milligrams of pralidoxime chloride. And this is in a two milliliter solution. They're both intramuscular injections, but you give the atropine first, followed immediately by the pralidoxime. Your drug interactions. You want to avoid the use of pralidoxime concurrently with narcotics, barbiturates, sedative, hypnotics, and sucks. The reason that I didn't put all respiratory depressants is because many times when we have a patient that's suffering from organophosphate poisonings, they may start to have seizures. That may be when we have to give a benzo. So I didn't include all respiratory depressants. A few side notes about the Mark 1 kit. So just like I mentioned, the Duodo auto injector contains the same medications as the Mark 1 auto injector. There's that slight difference in dosage on atropine, but it's just 0.1 difference. And the Mark 1 kit contains both medications in two separate injections and in two separate auto injectors. However, the Duodo is given in one injection. Pralidoxime should only be given in conjunction with atropine. So this isn't one of those medications that we can give by itself. The Mark 1 auto injector will not work for pesticides of the carbamate class, so that is one of your contraindications. With organophosphate poisonings, you always want to do cardiac monitoring because it can definitely have effects on the heart, and when you administer atropine, that can also have effects on the heart, so definitely want to have them hooked up to a monitor if you are able to. Uh, if the patient is seizing due to the poisoning, like I mentioned, it is recommended to give a benzo like diazepam, aka Valium. Remembering the mnemonic sludgem. This is pretty important. This will be a dead giveaway that the person 
person is suffering from some kind of nerve agent exposure. Sledgem, if you haven't already seen my video on Sledgem, I'll definitely link it up in the right hand corner, but it stands for salivation, lacrimation, urination, defecation, GI symptoms, emesis, and meiosis. If your patient is experiencing this, it's, it is a bad day for them. They need immediate intervention. As always, guys, thank you for watching and remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational and meant for entertainment purposes only for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you next Monday. Bye!